Whoa! It's Tuesday! We have something that we do on Mondays and Tuesdays. You know what we do on Tuesdays? We do science! Cue the intro! I bet you guys are wondering what you need or what you can do with all of your old CDs. Like this is a burned copy of The Last King of Scotland. Never watched it. Probably not going to, so I think let's try to make a hovercraft out of it. This one's super easy. The only thing you need is a DVD, and um, I use a little tiny piece of PVC pipe, or you can get, if you have one of those, um, like a, a squeeze bottle of, of water that has one of those pull-up tops, it's really hard to explain, but you can use one of those, and all we're going to do is we're going to glue, and it's really easy with hot glue, but be super careful with hot glue, but just glue the piece of PVC or the top, uh, to the top of the CD or DVD like this and then stick a balloon on the top See I had to do this beforehand because this is my this is the last balloon And I had to actually salvage one from our last party that we had the only glue that I could find is some uh, CBVC cement. I don't know if that's gonna work. This is actually CB. Uh, no, this is just regular PVC It's thick wall, but it, it'll work with it And I'm hoping that it'll work against this DVD too. All that it does is it melts the plastic and then they fuse together so I'm hoping that it's gonna work, so let's give it a try. You guys can see all I did here was just kinda glue this up right in the center of the CD with my glue, which I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I hope it is, and if you guys use hot glue, it definitely will work, and it'll work better with the top to a water bottle because it'll slow down the air coming out. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put like a little piece of screen inside of there to make sure that the air isn't coming out too fast. Because if it comes out too fast, it's just gonna fly everywhere. But if it comes out nice and slow and regulated, it'll float a lot better. And if you have the little cap top thinger, you can close it down and keep the air in the balloon so you don't have to worry about it ex escaping all over the place. And you can actually blow up the balloon through the bottom of the CD and close the valve and let it just sit there full of air and then set it on the ground and when you're ready, open up the top and I'll show you guys it floating here in a second. You guys are gonna try it floating with me for the first time. I haven't ever tried this before, we'll see if it works. It's really hard to blow up this balloon, but I got a little bit of air in there. Oh no, it's all coming out now, oh great. Let's try it. Heck yeah, I found a secret Halloween stash of balloons. This one will work much better. There we go, hovercraft away. Look at it hovercrafting. So craftily hovering. Yeah. I want to try it without the screen because that was kind of like uneventful. Let's do it without the screen. It's really going to blast off. Here it goes without the screen. It's going to be crazy. Oh, it's not really that crazy, but I mean, it's, it's working a little bit better. Oh, almost went off the edge there. Yeah. Uneventful hovercrafting! Because that was sort of like, hey, hey hovercraft, I'm gonna show you guys something way cooler that you can actually trick some of your friends with and like really show them up and be like, ha, I am no more than you, or something like that. Okay, here's the setup. You've got two cups that are in the sink completely submerged and you take them and stick them head to head like this and stand them up so that one cup is on top of the other and they are both full of water. So your end result looks like this. And then you say to your friends, you say, all right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take one of those cups of water and empty the water completely out of it, leaving them in the exact same position that they are in without touching them with any part of your body or with any utensil. And they look at you and they go, what? Well, that's impossible. And then you say, ah, 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 I bet you five bucks it isn't impossible. And they go, okay, you're on. Because they're apparently not that smart that you set up the trick and that there's obviously a solution to it because you set it up. And they're going to owe you five bucks. Check this out. You guys want to know what the trick is? It's a straw. And now what you need to do is blow through the straw gently right there. And then if you do it right, you will end up taking all of the water out of this one Bring it, of course, you know, put it in a dish so it doesn't go everywhere, but, and there, all the water will stay in this one. You ready? Do it real lightly. And there you have it. They owe you five bucks. There you go, folks. Two super easy science experiments that blow. Awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Hey, do you know what time it is? It's time to pay the price.